Hello friends, how are you doing today? I'm your PT expert Mr. Hus and in today's video I will provide you a practice test on PT speaking module. So let's not waste any more of our time and let's get started.
The cost of living in the suburbs is distinctly lower than that of the city. Investment levels are seen as a good measure of business confidence. The analysts were confounded by the results of their statistical research. The guest was called to the dais to deliver the graduation speech. The landscape has altered drastically in the last 20 years. Eleven members of Congress voted against the resolution. The fugitives were arrested on the border in the early hours of Wednesday. There were over 5 million casualties in the Civil War. I attended practically every lecture and seminar when I was a student. In 1436, he fortified the castle walls in preparation for war.
worries about screen time are increasingly common. Parents and some health professionals fret that young people who bask, zombie-like, in the cold glow of television, computer and mobile phone screens could be storing up a range of social, physical, mental and cognitive problems for their future selves. Children are certainly spending a growing chunk of time looking at screens. Figures from Britain show, for example, that in 2010 11.8.6% of children aged under 16 said they spent more than three hours on social networks on a normal school day. By 2015-16 that figure had risen to 12.8%. At the same time, the proportion of children aged 5 to 15 with mental disorders rose from 9.7% in 1999 to 11.2% in 2017. Are these sets of numbers linked? In short, nobody knows. The limited evidence available suggests that the negative effects of screen time on mental health are tiny and not worth worrying about. But solid research is lacking. The only way to respond to this sort of looming panic is to collect good evidence. Studying the relationship between screen time and health is difficult, though, because self-reported data on smartphone and screen use do not always reflect reality. Richer datasets can be mined from social media companies, which gather data on what someone is posting, who is reading what, and what people do with the information. Only those kinds of data could provide scientists with the detailed models of human behavior and well-being they need in order to identify potential harms and benefits. Critics of nuclear energy worry that the storage facilities for radioactive waste will leak, crack, or erode. Radioactive material could then contaminate the soil and groundwater near the facility. This could lead to serious health problems for the people and organisms in the area. All communities would have to be evacuated. This is what happened in Ukraine, in 1986. A steam explosion at one of the power plants with four nuclear reactors caused a fire, called a plume. This plume was highly radioactive, creating a cloud of radioactive particles that fell to the ground, called fallout. The fallout spread over the nuclear facility, as well as the surrounding area. The fallout drifted with the wind, and the particles entered the water cycle as rain. Radioactivity traced to this disaster fell as rain over Scotland and Ireland. The environmental impact of the disaster was immediate. For kilometers around the facility, the pine forest dried up and died. The red color of the dead pines earned this area the nickname the Red Forest. Fish from the nearby river had so much radioactivity that people could no longer eat them. Cattle and horses in the area died. More than 100,000 people were relocated after the disaster, but the number of human victims is difficult to determine. The effects of radiation poisoning only appear after many years. Cancers and other diseases can be very difficult to trace to a single source. The Olympic Games were founded on a love of sport, unity, and competition and an ancient tradition of physical fitness. With such rich history and meaning, an event like the Olympics glows with symbolism and iconography that references its powerful themes. 
Two unique and well-known symbols of the Olympic Games, the Five Rings and the Flaming Torch, carry a particularly strong significance to Olympic values. The Olympic rings, five interconnected rings in five colors, from left to right blue, yellow, black, green, and red, is perhaps the most iconic symbol of the Games. The logo was designed in 1912 by a co-founder of the modern Games. The five colors correspond to the flags of the countries that participated in the 1912 Olympic Games. Despite this specificity and despite many more countries having joined in the game since the symbol's creation, the rings now serve as a universal icon of the Olympics. The designer intended the rings' connection to each other to embody a unified world. According to him, the rings also reflect a world bonded together by the goals of Olympism, a set of values highlighted in the Olympic Charter which are a set of guidelines for the Games. Olympism encourages the fitness of mind and body, promotes teamwork and care for humanity, and exalts sport and the right for all types of people to participate and live without discrimination. Roughly a fifth of all coral in the world has died in the past three years. Some experts believe that there is now just half the amount of coral that was in the oceans 40 years ago. The northern third of the Great Barrier Reef has lost more than a third of its coral since 2015. Coral is neither a rock nor a plant, but an animal. A mound of the stuff is made up of thousands of tiny invertebrates called polyps, that can be anything from a few millimeters to several centimeters wide. The reefs it builds support entire marine ecosystems, so its decline is a major problem. So why is it dying? Litter is one problem. The debris blocks sunlight, and bits with sharp edges sometimes cut coral tissue. Plastic rubbish often collects and then spreads harmful bacteria. Recent studies point out that 9 out of 10 corals observed with plastic lodged on them, show signs of disease. Silt from shoreline construction smothers coral. Overfishing is another problem, as the removal of fish from the food chain allows the spread of large fleshy algae, whose growth can crowd out coral. Such algae thrive on nutrients in sewage and farm runoff. Those pollutants also bring bacteria which can kill coral larvae, as they are swimming to find a spot to settle permanently. The biggest reason for coral's decline, however, is rising water temperature. Heat appears to render it more vulnerable to viruses. More importantly, warming can ruin the symbiosis between coral and its main food, the microalgae that live on and inside its tissue. In addition to this, the buildup of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is also increasing the acidity of seawater, which makes it harder for coral to generate the calcium carbonate it needs for its skeletal structure. What part of the body does an ophthalmologist treat? Which of these oscillates, a wheel, or a pendulum?
A child is disappointed and annoyed that his parents have refused to buy him a new toy. What word best describes his mood, sunny or sour? If two people have the same opinion on a proposal, does that indicate agreement or suspicion? What is a barometer used for, to measure or to mediate? What is the level of skill of a novice, beginner, or advanced? In a competition, one participant tells another to break a leg. Is that to discourage or to encourage? What would you call a person who translates one language to another? What is the object shown in the image called? What object is the dog holding in its mouth? If you were looking for a cab, would you have to hail it, or hold it? What would you call a group of ships? A fleet or a dock? So guys, I really hope this practice test helps you achieve your desired scores in your PT exam. And another thing guys, my next video will be a full PT mock test. So please stay tuned for that. See you next time and thank you for watching.